Hi friends. Please subscribe to my channel for more SQL and MSBA technology videos. In this video, let's talk about temporary tables in SQL Server. So before going to in detail of the temporary tables, so let's talk about what are all the points we are planning to talk about. So first one is, so what is temporary table? Temporary table. Second one is how to create. Okay, how to create and insert, insert the data. And so what is the scope of the temporary table? Is the scope of the temporary table. Next. So what is the storage location? And so lifetime. <clears throat> Our scope or lifetime, whatever it is, I can say what is the life or scope of lifetime. <clears throat> yeah. See, first of all, so what is the temporary table? So temporary table is the one which will help us to use temporarily. So there are some scenarios where you may need to handle some logic dynamically. So in the SQL Server queries. So that time you might need a temporary table. So it will help us to store some information temporarily and you can reuse that information in the entire window, entire query window. So at the end you can drop it or you can leave it. But best practice, you need to drop the temporary table even. So that is what is temporary table. Now next I will tell you how to create and how to insert the data into a temporary table. <clears throat> So temporary table also looks similar to the physical table. It looks similar to the physical table. So let me create a table. So in the training database. So if you see there are around three physical tables I have in my uh, training database. So I am going to create a temporary table. I am going to run the query in the training query window. So with the same name of employee. Okay. Let me create a temporary table. Create table. The syntax is almost the same. So to create a physical table and the temporary table. So but while giving the naming to the temporary table, I need to start with a yash symbol. Yash. So if any object name is going to start with yash is nothing but it's a temporary object. So here. So I'm going to keep ash as a starting point and then I'm going to give the name of the table EMP. See if you see here, I have the same table with the name of EMP. That is a physical table, but this is a temporary table. So is that okay? Yes, it works. There is no problem in creating it with the same name because it's a temporary table. That is a physical table, temporary table, employee, EMP. So naming, I need to give the column names, ID, EMP and data type, int, comma, uh, EMP name, now we are care of uh, some 20, whatever it is. So this is how we create a temporary table. So let me execute this query. Let me execute it. So if you see this, the query has been completed successfully. Commands completed successfully. So but let me refresh the tables in the training because I have executed this query in the training database. So can I see the dash EMP in the uh, tables list? No, because this is a temporary table. So this temporary table is going to store in the temp database. It is going to store in the temp database. The temp database in the system databases. Let's expand the system databases. Once you expand the system databases, if you see these are all the four system databases. So let me expand this. So under the expand, let me refresh this. Once you refresh this, so there will be a table. Yeah, there will be a table under that temporary tables. You have a table. So with a name of EMP. So there is some special characters. We are able to see some special uh, line symbol and all. If you see this, so there will be a line and at the end there is a number. So that is a system is going to give you some number for each and every temporary table. But the starting point is dbo dot ash emp and the hyphen 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 and at the end you have some name numbers. Okay, so that's what how that that's how my SQL server is going to represent the temporary tables in the temp database. So this is how we create a temporary table in the training database, but still it creates the table in the temp database. It won't create anything in the training. Let us say if I insert a data into my temporary table, then like which database size is going to increase? 
yes my temp db size is getting increased not a training database even though you create in the training database but the temp database size is going to increase because that is created physically in the temporary database only now so let's insert some data into the temporary data table so insert same similarly insert insert into table name and i can put the values like this there is no change in inserting the data into the uh, table so they, it will be similarly how we are inserting into a physical table we will insert in the similar manner so like insert into table name column names values and you need to write the val uh, values exact values one comma something uh, john okay so this is how we insert it this is the first row let me insert some more rows some more rows and more rows now let me make it as uh, instead of uh, one two three four let me make it as uh, instead of john i make it as kate so i'll make it as uh, william williams now this i'll make it as uh, okay totally i am planning to insert four rows so let me insert all these uh, four rows here one by one yeah if you see these four rows has been affected four rows has been affected so now let me see what does the data is there in my temporary table how to query the temporary table similarly how we are querying the physical table you will be querying the same similar way select star from ash emp my sql server is intelligence one like it automatically gives you the name of the tables once you type the ash so this is how we access even physical table as well see once you create a temporary table even the temporary table also works like a physical table even my temporary table works like a physical table so now if you see this my temporary table contains two columns with four rows two columns with four rows now what is the scope now we talked about so what is a temporary table and how to create and insert the data into the temporary table the next one is what is the scope or lifetime of the temporary table now if you see this let me go to the sql server window see this temporary table is created in a sql query 2.sql window so the scope of the temporary table is within the query window only within the query window only let us say let me run the same select query in the next query window or other query window so let me go into click on a new query window so once i click on new query window if you see i am in the query 3.sql let me run the same query select star from emp let me run once i run it so here i am going to get an error because the scope the scope or life of the temporary table is in the same query window even though see, even though even though if you do not drop that particular uh, table still you cannot use that uh, temporary table in the other window so that is a limitation or that is the scope that is the scope of the temporary table so then how to update so update 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 comma so delete and like all all options will work in the similar way like how it is working on the physical table you can update some of the rows let me run the update query on the top of the temporary table update syntax is update hash uh, emp set set some name emp name equal to uh, name equal to chris where i am planning to wear id emp equal to some particular uh, what i said to let me run this if i run this query it is going to update the employee name to krish for particular employee too let me execute it so now let me run the select query select star from emp let's execute it if you see this yeah so it is been updated means my update command my insert command delete command all the commands or even though select command all are works like a physical table only then how to drop the employee table how to drop the temporary employee table not a physical employee table see even like even drop also works similar to the physical table let us say what is the syntax to drop drop table as emp see once you drop it if you execute this it is going to be drop so once it is dropped you can again you can run this create command see can i execute means like a table is already been created in the same window 
so can i create again the same window no you cannot create because that table the temporary table with that particular name is already exist you can see the error message but can i create this temporary table in the next window in a different window yes you can create it because each and every query window is a separate session for the temporary table each and every query window is a separate session for a query window but once you create a permanent table in one window you cannot create the same name in the separate window because for permanent tables so entire um, entire server within the server you can create only single permanent table but in a temporary table prospect too so i can create in query 3 sql window i can create one temporary table in if you have one more query window i can create one more um, temporary table here means if i have a 100 sql windows i can create 100 temporary tables with the same name but once i close this window so once i close this window so it automatically the life of this particular uh, session temporary table will be gone will be closed let me close this then it will be done okay if i close this this also will be done means the lifetime the lifetime of the temporary table is within a window only now so let me let me go to the next point that is the scope or lifetime of a temporary table if you see the storage location as we talked about storage location is a temporary db even though you create in any db but it is going to be stored in the temp db only so that is the point here it is going to store in a temp db only but once you close this particular session it automatically wipes out it automatically wipes out even i told that so even though like you created in a separate like let's say training database training database okay but if i insert a data into a temporary table so it is going to store that it is going to occupy the space in the temporary db only it won't occupy any space in the training database so that is why because it is going to store physically in the temporary database only now let me drop can i physically drop the temporary table in the same window yes you can drop it so let me click let me execute the drop uh, syntax drop table as employee let me click on it it is being dropped so i am going to run again the drop uh, syntax if i run again it is going to give you error message saying that cannot drop the table because it does not exist or you don't have a permission so because it has been it means you within the same window you can create once you can drop once within the same window you cannot create multiple times or you cannot drop multiple times so that is how my temporary table is going to work that's it hope you uh, you are liking my videos please subscribe to my videos whenever i upload you will get a notification thank you for watching thank you